Hi baby, so welcome back to my channel. So if I look completely different than the rest of the video, it's because I forgot to film an intro. So today I am going to be sharing with you guys how I got these crochet braid goodness right here. Um, this is not the final style that this hair will be in. I decided to keep it in its fluffy state for a few days because I was getting such a great response. Like at first I thought I looked like cousin it. <laughs> But when I went out, I got so many compliments on the hair. As you guys know, I am going through my postpartum shedding. And um, I just figured that this might be a better way to keep more of my hair in. Because I lied to you not, you guys. When I was washing my hair, like, it was just coming out in clumps. Like, there was nothing I could do about it. My hair was just falling out. Honey. I do know I will be talking about my Big Chop experience. Both the one before, the most recent one, and the one that I just did that you guys are going crazy about because I did not use hair shears. I promise you guys, my hair will be fine. Um, but yeah, let me know your questions down below if you have any regarding my natural hair journey or your natural hair journey or, you know, big chops in general or postpartum shedding. All your hair questions, leave them down below because I will be doing a dedicated story time slash Q&A video for that. But I'm going to start rambling and if you want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. So... The point where I'm at right now, I've already done the back, and I'll take this out so you guys can see it. It's a lot of hair. <laughs> I've used two packs of hair and a little bit of a number four. I'm using the same hair that I did my uh, Havana twist with, and it's the Jamaican Twist Braid by Free Trust Equal. I like this hair because the natural pattern of the hair reminds me of natural hair, even though I am going to be styling it. So I just did some straight backs. So because my hair is short, I use my natural hair to do straight backs up until this point. And there is like a bit of a, a line braid going across. And the rest were done in zigzag straight backs. Um, I did use, well, I didn't do it because someone else braiding my hair. But um, braiding hair was used for the braids in the back. Just so I would be a little more secure because I do have shorter hair in the back. Um, but that's all I did. And like I said, I mixed a little bit of a number four. I didn't mean to get a four. I meant to get just one B, two packs of one B, and three packs of a number two. But I actually picked up the four. So I've just been using the four as like highlights mixed throughout. Um, I don't think I'll use all five packs of hair. Honestly, I don't think that my head is big enough. So I was putting the uh, hair. So when you get the hair, it comes in pre-made sections like this. To install, I just split the sections in two and then did it that way. I had been knotting the hair. Um, I don't really know if that matters. So this is what I'm working with. And um, yeah, let's get started. So we're 